Him? Come on in, buddy. <laughs> Inside voices. <laughs> What's happening, John? Rocket Room 6. What's wrong with Rocket Room 6? Oh, it's touristy. But the east side is a little more where people go to get away from all the mainstream stuff. It wasn't as hip as you. All right. <laughs> so where is that rocket now? Uh, it's down the road at my friend's. He called me because it's called Sputnik, and it's got a space theme. Is he not on the east side of town? He is on the east side of town. So it worked for him. I think this is really about a little Austin snobbery maybe here oh, for a minute. I'm getting thrown under the bus here. <laughs> Absolutely not. As the neighborhood has become more popular because of these dive bars that moved in and got rid of all of the drug dealers and the crime, it's a more viable neighborhood and our customers change. That said, how are the numbers? How are we doing? We're good. Compared to years ago, about 15% increase. We're also up 5% in net profit. Mm, so That's a lot of money. Like, by covering up the cooler doors, it drew people's eyes away. They're buying more alcohol. They're buying more draft beer. What we're talking about is when I got to the Brixton, the beer bottles were very visible yeah. in that cooler. It's all about bar science. Let me show you what I mean. Now, by covering up the beer cooler, one little simple change, the brightest spot behind the bar were the liquor bottles, the expensive ones. Yeah. Your eyes go there, your brain lands there, and then your wallet lands there. That science worked. Yeah. I'm really proud because the biggest issue in the Brixton to me was you. You had an attitude that chased people away. Why did somebody applaud on that? That's not fair. <laughs> you were a mixology snob in a sense. You hated it. When somebody comes in and says, let me have a Manhattan, you gonna give them a hard time? Absolutely not. Is he paying cash or a card? <laughs> Back then, it was a fad. But yeah, nowadays, uh, it's, uh, that has turned more mainstream. So the mixology worked? Yeah. Concept worked, right? Yeah, Hold on a second. Let's just run through this. Right. What was the concept? Indoor, outdoor worked, didn't it? Yes, that worked. Adding amazing. the food element worked, didn't it? Yes. Adding your, your new attitude worked, didn't it? Yeah, it took a time. <laughs> so we do 10 things, and eight of them work. How did we do? Yeah, we do fantastic, yeah. At the end of the day, this bar nailed it because of you, Tim. Here's the verdict on the Brixton. Complete success. Hi, this is John Taffer. Be sure to subscribe to Spike's YouTube channel where you can watch more Bar Rescue videos.